What's going on YouTube? This is Uber Guy here bringing to you something a little bit special that I normally like to do. Oh, well, well, it's kind of fucked up on that beginning part here, but let me get my mind right, restart again, go through it again, okay? Know what I'm gonna say? Check in with people spy real quick. Let's do this. Free for all commentary. This is Uber Guy here. I'm not gonna tell you the outcome of the free for all commentary because then that would be just destroying the surprise. But I'm pretty sure after I get a uh, tens of thousands of a few kills I'll stick with you with a hype you know keep it going you know keep you guys interested uh, you know because <laughs> that's your your main thing anybody could talk about anything but very few people could talk about nothing and yet keep their audience silence yes I know that's just beautiful yeah Uber guy sometimes like like to use his brain but um his brain doesn't necessarily like to use him what the hell that makes no sense, but hey, jump right into it. I'm picking up this fucking camping dude. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I mean, if you're gonna camp with a shotgun, at least know where the spawns are to camp, so that way you do pick up like maybe a kill. But uh, yes, I'm soundhorn my ass off here. So if you kind of see me just going ahead and camp and then do certain weird things, you're like, Uber, what are you doing, Uber? That's, that's not, it's not you, Uber. Uber, you're more like a run and gun. But yes, I'm using the gun that I said that I hated the most. It's not because I hate it. it I've tried all guns, uh, really, in Call of Duty. It's just, I don't remember them being that crappy. If you know what I mean, guys. I don't remember the gun being that fucking crappy in Call of Duty. And, well, COD 4. Because this the MP5. Oh, it look. Oh, so sexy. And this blue camo. Oh, so sexy. Silence. And you have to have it silence. If you didn't have it silence, you're a noob. Sorry. But, I'm going ahead. Um, picking up some kills here. But, I, before when I tried out MP5, it, it, it was garbage. It still is kind of garbage. Believe me or not. And I have specialists right now. And trying to get a long distance kills is pretty fucking incredible. I mean, you can't, you can't like MP7, like da -da -da -da, and make all your bullets hit. But, you know, it does take a little bit of skill to use this gun. And I, I believe that's what makes you a better Call of Duty player. Recently, I found out if you slap on Stalker instead of Dead Silence because you're I mean that makes you twice as fast. I don't know why, but look at these guys trying to boost. Look, look at yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Fucking cheaters. But no, um, I found out like look how hard it, it. I found out you just have to tap it. Look, tap, 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 and then like the recoil is not that bad if you tap any gun, of course. But it should be I could just spray and just, da, 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 you know get all bullets on target, but. Yeah, what can you do? Look at that guy. Well, he's only a level two, so uh, I, I guess he was just reloading. And that's another thing. Let's come to another point where it's just camping. You know, like a lot of people say that you're camping when you're really not camping. Like you could be caught with your pants down because you're trying to like reload your weapon, trying to get your thoughts together, you're trying to think of your next move. So I'm gonna stop this camping shit right now. I'm gonna blow it out the water. You know, Daisy Duke style. Let's do this. One, two, three, camp and explain. Go. Camping is you sit in the exact same spot more than one time. That's camping. So technically, we all camp. How about that? Huh? 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 Okay. Okay. I, I, I think I've gotten the camping roll out, out of the water. I mean... You, it, I mean, now there are rules, or not necessarily rules, but there are, you know, telltale signs when people camp too much in the same spot, or they don't know how to camp. Now, people that don't know how to camp, you'll, they'll typically like this guy I'm about to kill. So I run up the stairs here, and I see this guy all the way in the back. He could have, he you know, most likely he could have just spawned there, but that's not really a spawn point. The spawn is next to the car, I believe, because that's where I spawn. And that's where people would know like see this guy i always i'm always catching people in corners now when you catch people in corners yeah yeah i mean they you know what they're doing and that's why i cut him see tap 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 he's like oh 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 what what is this moab oh oh shot you guys yep that's right i'm shaking my controller shaking my head yep yep because the game is over over guy another moab <laughs> 
this is his fifth or fifth hmm. fifth Moab guys oh yeah and I, it, I'm just not gonna stop there stay tuned for part two I mean this is like a few games after like I think two or three few games after but uber guy does it again oh yeah stay tuned guys uber guy out peace welcome to part two of the series yes i told you guys and so the, believe it or not i'm using the exact same gun on the exact same fucking map what a fucking coincidence what's going on guys bringing to you part two on my back to back series uh this is gonna be a first for me i will tell you that right off the bat um this lobby damn it did well yeah it sucked because anytime i can run around and not get shot in the back because you can't pinpoint my location yeah that's kind of sad but so i pick up one kill here i'm feeling good you know just got off my one moab thinking i'm gonna get another one and then this guy look at this guy see i'm, I'm tapping it and it's still fucking inaccurate i'm just like holy shit i can't aim right now what's going on so i jumped down try to get this guy and he takes me out with an M4. So that that really kind of pissed me off. I was just like, whoa, that's kind of bullshit. And look at this guy. He's trying to creep. Dude, I'm not a noob. You got lucky last time. Chill the fuck out. Now, I don't know who the fuck was shooting me from behind. I don't know how far he was away. I wasn't looking at my mini map. I wasn't paying attention. So throw a little nade over there. Try to blow up the car for a diversion. And it kind of works. Unfortunately, I, I, I seen that beep. On the back of that car, I, I know where he's camping. He almost picks me up, but his his aim is not that good. So, trying to recover my health. Golden rule: recover your health before you go out, because I mean you're not 100%. You wouldn't you wouldn't think about it like this. If somebody asks you, all right, I want you to go up against Mike Tyson. I'll pay you two million dollars to take one punch by Mike Tyson, and then like you're just getting over a cold, and then they can just like. Well, damn, I, 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 I don't want to try to take Mike Tyson. I'm not at my 100%, you know? Like, like I wouldn't take a punch. Like, you wouldn't take a punch by anybody if he wasn't at your 100%. Like, some guy kicks your girlfriend's ass. And I'm like, okay, now you got to kick his ass. And then you're just like, well, um, you know, I have a broken arm. So, like, I mean, the fight wouldn't be fair, you know? He'd probably kick my ass, you know? Just poke me in my arm and I'm done that that's the emphasis I'm trying to establish here so if you do see me camping when I do go red health yeah I'm trying to recover my motherfucking health guys so calm that shit down but uh, you might say I'm going on a try hard rampage I'm not going on a try hard I'm just making sure that I ensure that I get the fucking kill you know cause you know you never know what happened I mean, somebody could be on dead man hand somebody could be on fucking last hand somebody could have Marty dumb somebody could just get a, a few lucky shots off you know what I mean so yeah, that's right. I'm a fucking ground humper. I'm a fucking pencil pusher. Yes, I'm a drop shotter. Get used to it, motherfucker. It's skill. And fuck you. That's it. That's all I'm saying about that combo. Now, moving back on to the commentary. Um, <clears throat> Now, the traditional, what you see me doing, is I'm forever moving. And this is what people don't seem to understand about free-for-all. Free-for-all, you're not supposed to camp. You're not supposed to stay in one spot. Not, I mean, you're supposed to go and look for people, yes. But your main primary objective is to keep them legs pushing. Especially if I have, like, one-man army. Oh, I'm, I'm always fucking pushing because, dude, you move so fucking fast. I mean, you got all the perks in the game. Uh, you got all the attachments that go, or not the attachments, or whatever, what am I, uh, proficiencies that go with the guns. I mean, dude, you're just fucking moving. I mean, you're bucking. You're, you're like unstoppable shooting machine. You got range. You got fucking stability. You got kick. You got the whole nine yards. That's why I love it. I love it. Oh, I love this and getting more kill streaks. Best thing they could have ever added in Modern Warfare 3, one man army. I'm sorry. That, that's a win. Nobody ever has to think about getting their fucking kill streaks again. So, you know. See this one guy? He's just a noob, so I just pick him off. Nice little clean shots. Don't want to do him too dirty, you know. Just nice and soft rape is adequate for me. And then look, same spot, same guy, same spot. He's a camper, but he's a noob. 
So he needs to be playing more like... See, and if you're a noob and you really don't know how to play and you want to get good, Black Ops did it the best, guys. Black Ops said, if you guys are suck, you know, you go into a fucking private match and they had little bots you could compete against, try those first and then come see me. Because if you come into a lobby, especially when I'm not really trying, but trying hard, especially when I get the Moab, it's over. And yes, once again, back-to-back -back Moabs, guys. Uber guy. One night. Oh, yeah. Check my fucking fault if you don't believe me. They're all done in the same night within about an hour time frame. Get on my level, guys. Uber guy out. Later.